Okay. So today we start with question four. So question four says um, solve each of the following equations, and then the first equation that has been given here is uh, the log, the log of x, and then the base is five is equal to uh, two. So the most important thing that you just need to know here is, um, I, I think that was question nine and eight, where you need to convert uh, the logarithm into exponential. So if you remember very well, uh, what we are doing when converting, we said since this pipe is a base, uh, even, even when it comes to exponential, it's still going to be a base. So meaning this pipe is going to be a base, and then our power will just be this. In other words, I said, or in, in, simple, in, in simple terms, I said that you just switch this x and that 2. So this will look like this. Uh, you put a 2 there, and then you say equals, uh, you put the x there. And we want to say uh, 5 squared is nothing but uh, 25. So this is our first question. Then our second question here was, Mm, I mean, the second question here is uh, the log of m, the log of m, the base is 4, yeah, where is the question, let me just, okay, there is a base 4 here, and then this side is, is it 2 over 3? For three over two, yeah. Okay. We have three over two like this. So this question and this question, I don't see any difference. They are all in the same format. So you do the same. Four will still remain as our base, and then uh, the power will be this uh, part here, which is uh, three over two, and then there you put your m, and then from there uh, we all know to say. This can be written as 4 raised to power half, and then we have the 3 outside here. I've just factored out the 3. And then I'll put this m this side. Yeah. So from there, we all know to say any letter or any number raised to power half is just equal to the square root of that letter or number. So even here, we do the same. So when there is um, 4 to the power half, we can put the square root of 4, and then we raise this to power 3, and this will be equal to 1. So we, we all know to say the square root of 4 is 2, and then we raise this to power 3, which is equal to m. And then our m will finally be equal to 8. Yeah, so I think even the third question is still the same. The third question is uh, the log of uh, 3 base 1 is equal to half, is equal to half. So this, we all want to say, this this y in this case is called the base. So meaning even, even when writing it in, 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 what's this, in exponential, it's still going to be the base. And then the power is that sign, which is half. And then from there, we equate this to 3. So now, how do we get rid of this half there? We're going to uh, raise, all, I mean, we're going to raise both sides by uh, what's this, 2. So many we're going to have something like this. We raise it to 2, even that side. We're going to say 3 raised to power 2. So when we multiply this 2 uh, times half there, we'll get y, and then this 3 raised to power 2 will give us 9. So almost all the questions here are straightforward. Let me just maybe try to fix one which seems to be a little bit complicated. Okay, let me pick 7. So let's solve 7. So 7 is... Uh, the log of 7 
פלאס לוג אוף 2x מינוס 3 is equal to the log of z4x plus 5. So now how do we do, how, how do we deal with uh, such an expression? So you follow the same rules of logarithm that we learned the last time we met. Uh, we know to say whenever you are adding two logs, it means that you are going to be multiplying the words. Uh, their function. So here there is addition, so meaning we are going to have the log of this will be 7 multiplied by 2x minus 3. We do this, and then this, um, this log 4x uh, plus 5 will do us as we will take it to the other side of the cosine and bring it this side. So we are going to say it's going to be minus. Uh, log 4x plus 5 and then this is going to be equal to 0 so here we know to say any log which is not uh, uh, which which does not have any base is we, we all know to say it's, it, it, it means that it's I mean it has a base which is 10 yeah so if you have a log without any base it means that it has a base which is just not shown it's 10 there. Yeah. So, we can proceed. So, we multiply this now. We're going to have the log of 7 times 2x, 14x, and then 7 times negative 3 will give us 21. And then, this will be minus uh, log 4x plus 5 equal to 0. So again, we know to say when we're, sub, uh, when we're subtracting two logs, it means that we're doing what? We're dividing. So we're going to divide their function. So we write log this side, and then we divide this. So we have, have something like this, 4x, I mean 14x, uh, minus 21, everything over 4x plus 5. Then this is the, I mean the best term then this is equal to zero. So now, we convert this to exponential form. How do we do that? We know to say our base is 10, so I'm going to write my base there, 10. And then my power is zero, so I'll write my power there. Then this is equal to, I'll write this part now, 14x minus 21 over 4x plus 5. So we know to say any number raised to power 0 is just equal to 1. Then this is equal to um, 14x minus 21. Then everything divided by 4x plus 5. So here now we can cross multiply. Let me just solve this one there. When we cross multiply there, we're going to have uh, this, this one is the same as, I mean, it's over one there. So when you cross multiply, we're going to have this one times 14x minus 21. We'll get the same 14x minus 21 being equal to uh, this one times 4x plus 5, 4x plus 5. You get the same thing. Then here it's now time to get the like term. We get uh, the... So this is the term with the, with the variable x, we put them together. So meaning we're going to have 14x, and then this will be minus 4. When this uh, positive 4 goes to the other side of the equal sign, it becomes negative. And then we're going to have this 5, we add it with uh, 21. And then from there we can now add bring this 14x minus 4x, we get 10x. Then this is equal to? There we get what? 26. 26. So our value of x will just be nothing but when we divide 10 both sides there, we're going to get 2.6. If you want, you can write it in this form. Or you can just say 26 over 10, which is just the same as 13 over 5. So that's our solution. This is 7.
on question four. I think let me do one more question there. Let me do question nine. Which which question should I do from there? Nine or eight? Question nine. Four or five? Huh? Which one should I do? I do five. Five, nine, eight. So from the three questions that you have chosen, I'm going to do two and then you do one. So which two should I do there? Five and nine. Five and nine? Okay. So question five. Lean x is equal to negative three. The lean of x is equal to uh, negative three. We know to say when we're dealing with lean, lean is just a special logarithm. Meaning this can also be written as the log of x to the base e. Lean is equivalent to log with the base e. And then this would be equal to uh, negative 3. So our, our base here is e. So I'm going to write e there. Then I'll raise it to that power which will be equal to um, x. So I think this is even done. This is done. You can go further than this. If you want to go further, you can just say 1 over e raised to power 3 is equal to x. Is there anyone who is still copying this part? So question nine is this is four, then we have nine. Log two minus three x. And then this is to the base three is equal to log nine. I mean log six x squared. x plus 2. Then this is to the base 9. Okay. I'm sure by now you think it's okay. Let's take off it. change one log uh, to the other, I mean one log with a certain base to a new base. If for instance you have the log of uh, n, let me use x, the log of x base n, and then you want to convert this to, to the log of x or the log of, yeah, the log of x, but with the base uh, b. What you do is, you are going to say this same log, x, you write it as a numerator there. And then the denominator there will be the log of n. Now, once you write this, you can put any base of your choice there. You can put b, you can put any base, you can put 3 there. If you try, if you try to use numbers and put it on your calculator, it will still give you the same answer which you can get after working out this. So this is the most important point on this question. So let's begin solving the question. So what we are going to do is, we are going to change this to the base 3. How can we change that? So first let me write this. I'm going to have the log of 2 minus 3x to the base 3 is equal to, and then this part, I'll write this log and uh, 
the function there as the numerator uh, log 6x squared minus 19x plus 2 and then I'll divide everything by log 9 and then I'm going to put any base of my choice there and of course since I want to change it to base 3 I'm going to put 3 there so that's how you change the logarithm the basis of the logarithm, logarithm. and then from there I can see to say this 3, I mean this log 9 base 3 I can change this I can write it, uh, let me just solve it here I can write it in this way I have log 9 base 3 this can also be written as uh, the log of we are able to see from this side how do you come here to this side so we are going to have something like this the log of um, 3 raised to power what? how can we write this name? we can say 3 to the power 2 2 to the power, I mean 3 to the power 3 is, is what? 9 and then my base is what? 3 this can still be simplified further how? I can write it this way these two come down this side according, according to the rules of logarithm I'm going to write these two there and then I'm going to have log uh, 3 base 3 then we can see to say this is a special logarithm when we have log of a and the base a this one is just equal to 1 so from there we, we know to say this part here is equal to 1 so this is just going to be 2 times 1 which gives me 2 and then so these two this so in short this log has been simplified to just 2 so this log is equivalent to this 2 so while is this log I can put 2 there so instead of writing this I will write 2 have you copied this part? yes ok hurry up so let me write this I will have log 2 minus 3x then I will I have my base which is 3 this is equal to I have log 6x squared minus 19x plus 2 in brackets and then this is the 3 and then I'm dividing everything by 2 we've, uh, we've changed this uh, log just to simplify it to 2 so what is this law? I'll put 2 I hope you have copy this so now I can cross multiply here I know that this is over 1 this 2 times that I'm going to have 2 uh, log 2 minus 3x and then the base will be 3 being equal to uh, when I say 1 times that, I'm going to have that like this. So they are, they are now even simple. I'll just take these two, then it will go on top there. I'm pretty sure we, we know the rule that is working here. This one here. So when you have something like maybe you have a number there. Then you have a logarithm there, then you have maybe the base A, then you have Y there. This can be written as log uh, base A, you have 1, and then this 2 goes up. This can also be written as like this. So this is what I'm going to do there. I'm going to write log 2 minus 3x, then this 2 go on top, this being equal to. to the log of 6x squared minus 19x plus 2 then the base there is 3 
So oh, there's also supposed to be a free then. So there are some people who just from here can say no, we cancel out this. Yes, it's also correct. You can just cancel out this and begin to work out and solve for x. But if you want to just follow the rules of law, we can this is what we do. We can take this to the other side of the equal sign or this that side. We still have the uh, there was the same answer. So when you take this to the other side of the equal sign, uh, we are going to have or maybe let's do this this side. We are going to have the log of two minus three x. Then the three minus the log of six x squared minus nineteen x plus two. So what we do from there, this is equal to zero. So what we can do from here, we know to say when you're subtracting two logarithms, you simply divide the functions. So this is what we're going to have. Well, everything divided by this function. And that this rule only works when the bases here are equal. This is the reason as to why instead of just bringing this part this side and begin to work out, we decided first to change the base to base 3. So this is how we can write it. Then this is to the base 3, and then this is equal to 0. So we can change this now to exponential form. We know to say our base is 3, our power is 0. Then we equate this to uh, 2 minus uh, 3x squared over, then we have that which is Six x squared minus nineteen x plus two. We know to say this three raised to power zero is nothing but one. one. Should I wrap this top part? Huh? Or there are people who are first concentrating and then writing at the end. Okay, so I can wrap. So this, we know to say 3 raised to power 0 is 1, then this is equal to, I think we can, we can do what we can expand this. So we know to say 2 times 2 give us 4, and then 2 times negative 3, or what I should do is this, let me just do this, because a lot of people confuse the difference of two squares with uh, anything which looks like this. So when you have x minus y, and x squared minus y squared. These are two different things. This cannot be written in this form. This and this are different. They are totally different. So here, what, what, what this means on top here, this thing means that you are going to, this is going to multiply itself uh, two times. And then what this means is that this this is now what we call the difference of two squares. So I mean we're going to have x plus y and x minus y, something like this. So what this means is that we're multiplying 2 minus 3x and then another, another same part of the same kind, we multiply it. So we're going to say this is going to be 2 minus 3x and then we're dividing everything back. Uh, 6x squared minus 19x plus 2. So from here we can cross multiply. This times 1, we have 6x squared, then minus 19x plus 2 being equal to this 2 times 2, we get 4. 2 times negative 3, we get negative 3x. And then we have Negative 3x times 2. Oh, sorry. 
two times negative three x is two times negative three x is six. Negative six x. We get another negative six x, and then we have negative three x times negative three x. Nine x squared. Okay. So from here now we can pick out. I mean we can pair the like terms. So we know. I know to say this six x squared can be taken that side. So I'm going to have nine x squared minus six x squared. I'll get three x squared. Yes. And then I'll get. And, and then I have this negative six x minus negative. I mean minus six x to give me something like negative four x. Yeah. Then when I take this negative nineteen x to the other side of the equal sign to become positive. Meaning I'm going to have negative 12x uh, plus 19x. What's the answer? Is it like this? Yes. So we take these two to the other side of the equal sign. We we'll have 4 minus 2, which will give us 4 minus 2 will give us 2. And then this whole equation is equal to 0. Then from there. We can now solve the quadratic equation to find the values of x. So we have the product there, which is 3 times 2, you get 6. The sum is just 7, meaning the factors will be what and what? 6 and 1. Yes, the factors will be 6 and 1. So we put 6 and 1 there, we're going to have 3x squared, then plus x plus six x and then we have plus two being equal to zero then from there we can now factorize so from there we can now factorize so we factorize here we're going to have x as common and then from there we're going to get um three x then plus one then here what is common is 2, then when we factorize 2 from 6x, we get 3x, and then there we get 1. This whole thing is equal to 0. So we now uh, get the factor. The factor there is 3x plus 1, and then we have this x plus 2 being equal to 0. Then what we do from there, we just equate these to 0, so we have 3x plus 1 being equal to 0, we also have x plus 2 being equal to 0. So now we can find our values of x, we have the first value of x which is negative 1 over 3, and then the other value of x will just be x plus 2, negative 2. So these are the values of x that were required in this expression. So if you want to prove them, you can try to put them while it's x. See if the answer that you get this side will be the same answer that you are going to get uh, on the other side of the equal sign. Oh, sorry, this will be this will be nice.